Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I am back in Planet Zoo because we are building for another animal that came with a new Europe pack that recently released. So before I start talking about the build, I wanted to let you know that later on in this video, I will be announcing the rules to a Planet Zoo competition where the prize will be a free copy of the new Europe pack. So make sure you stick around until the end of the video to hear all of the rules and how you can enter as well. And then at the very end of the video, I will also have some cinematics of the finished build but also of the badger which is the animal that we are building this enclosure for and as always I make sure to include loads of good shots of the animals and their animations as well as well as some footage of what the babies look like too and burrowing was also a specific new feature that has been added with the badgers in this new free update so I will definitely be exploring this feature in my cinematics and showing you what this looks like and yeah just having some fun looking at the badgers so make sure you keep watching so you don't miss out on seeing one of the new animals and in case you missed it yesterday I posted a speed build for the lynx so make sure you go and check out that video too if you haven't already I will link it at the top of this video and in the description box below as well and tomorrow I will be posting a third video which will show off both the fallow deer as well as the ibex so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see that so that you don't miss out on seeing both of those animals as well so I've worked so hard hard to make sure that I can post a video for all of these animals pretty much as soon as I can after the pack release. I've done a lot of pre-recording like I say so hopefully you appreciate it and that you like all of the builds that I've done and that you don't mind too much that I haven't been able to show off much of the build items that came with the pack. I've just focused on the animals and making sure that you get to see their animations so hopefully you like it. But today like I said I am building a standalone habitat for the European badger and I am super excited to be getting badges in the game. I love getting small mammals in Planet Zoo because I don't think we've got enough of them in the game and they are my favourite things to see in a zoo as well and we get a lot of big cats and a lot of hoof stock in the game and I always look forward to these smaller animals like the badger or the otters or the fennec foxes and meerkats and things like that but the badger was actually a really tricky animal for me to build for because I've never seen a badger in a zoo before and I have never known a badger especially a European badger to be in a zoo before so the idea of having to make a zoo enclosure for them just felt wrong and a bit weird and I don't know if this is because I live in the UK and obviously they are native to the UK and so you don't tend to see like many native animals in zoos where you live I suppose and maybe in other countries where you don't get European badgers you might get them in zoos instead I don't know let me know down in the comments below I'd be so interested to know if any of you watching this video have seen a badger in zoo in real life and whether it was a European badger or not and where you saw it. So like I say let me know but that would be really interesting. The closest thing I have come to with this was a charity called the Otter Trust that used to have a site near where I lived where they would just rescue otters and rehome them in this sanctuary and they would have loads of enclosures lined up that were just fenced off parts of the natural environment to protect the otters and I know obviously <laughs> badgers aren't otters but that is kind of the closest thing that I could think of to what a badger enclosure might look like so I could imagine a similar sort of place existing for badgers and so for this reason I decided not to make the badgers like a standard zoo enclosure but instead tried to create them a really naturalistic looking habitat and I also very much associate European or English woodland animals in general with a fairy tale woodland scenery so I found this illustrated reference picture of this a magical woodland area with this really pretty waterfall and a trickling stream and small bridge and so I decided to make a walkthrough enclosure based on this picture which mimics like a real woodland walk that you might have in the UK where badgers would basically just be living in the wild and you could walk past them as you were just enjoying this woodland area and I have no idea yet whether badgers will be safe to have in walkthrough habitats in the game in terms of the game mechanics themselves but like I said in the wilds they would have had burrows in the woods and people could walk through them safely so I don't see why this shouldn't be a feature in the game if not I'll just like make sure it's on sandbox mode and all of the danger settings are turned down so they don't attack the guests and the guests are safe but hopefully it will work. 
And in terms of the build itself, I had some trouble at first with the gray temperate rocks because I started trying to use those because we're obviously in a temperate biome. So I thought that would be most appropriate. And I placed them down initially, but I ended up thinking that they didn't really look realistic enough. I wasn't happy with how they looked at all. So I eventually then swapped them out for these tropical rocks that you can see now. And they are more brown in color and they kind of look like soil. You can't really tell where the soil ends and the rock begins which I think looks much more realistic and I also used a lot of these mossy rocks as well throughout the build and a lot of these tree root pieces that I think came with the South American pack because it just helped to make this waterfall look more magical and detailed and all of the small roots just looked like little plant fibres or they were kind of just like any old plant root rather than tree roots. So hopefully you like this effect too and you don't think it was overkill but yeah I really liked how it looked and I also added a lot of vegetation everywhere mostly including the bramble pieces I think they were the bracken as well and ferns and although I was mostly working from this reference picture like I mentioned I was also thinking of places that I'm really familiar with near where I grew up in the Yorkshire Dales so there there are lots of waterfalls and the water is always this really peaty brown color so as kids we used to say that it looked like coca-cola so <laughs> so the water I use is obviously like a dirty version of the water tool in Planet Zoo because you can change how clean the water is now and like I say all of the rocks are covered in moss and all the vegetation is really lush and green because that's how I remember it in Yorkshire there are lots of ferns lots of trees everywhere and lots of moss on the rocks like I say and everything is just green and green and brown there's this green and brown everywhere so hopefully I've replicated that nicely in this build you may also notice that when I work on the open grass grassy areas I try to add as many details as I can with the small rock pieces as well as the tiny branches I think we got in the North American pack like the little birch branches and I place loads of these down individually and then duplicate them as a group throughout the build so that it looks really detailed and full and I also wanted to add more flowers to this area but I can't say I'm much of a fan of most of the flowers that we have in Planet Zoo so I did end up keeping them to a minimum but I know that the Europe pack is supposed to have more vegetation pieces which I obviously have haven't seen yet because I'm pre-recording but you might end up seeing me add a few more details at the end of the build once I get a hold of the pack so if there are any good vegetation pieces I might add them in there but in terms of the rest of the build like I said I create this small wooden bridge for guests to walk over the stream and then at the end I also create this dry stone wall out of individual rocks that I think are from the South American pack again and if you don't know what dry stone walls are they are basically like a special way of placing stones that are native to places in the UK like the Yorkshire Day without cement or anything like that and they end up obviously creating a wall and you see them pretty much everywhere in the dales so that's what I base them on and this build will obviously be on the steam workshop as well once this video is uploaded so if you want to download it then I will leave a link to the blueprint in the video description below so you can go and check it out there if you want to use it in your zoos and then I also wanted to announce a competition giveaway for my planet zoo viewers so I wanted to have a giveaway as a thank you to all of you for helping Helping me to get accepted onto the YouTube partnership program and I wanted to try and think of something that would be fun and accessible for all Planet Zoo players and hopefully organize it in a way that would enable me to interact with you all a little bit more so the competition is going to be a Planet Zoo photography competition so for those of you who have never used the function in game before you can actually take screenshots in your Planet Zoo game using the F12 key and you can also go into like a cinematic mode which basically just hides all of the game tabs using the G key on your keyboard so it just clears everything and you sort of go into a cinematic mode like I say. So you don't have to have any of the packs to enter this competition and you don't have to be a great builder and I will even allow you to use other people's blueprints as a backdrop for your screenshots if you like so like I say you don't have to be a fancy builder at all but I do want your photos to be of animals in the game so animals will be the focus of these photographs or screenshots and these could be your favorite animals or it doesn't have to be at all it could be anything you want any animal at all and it could be a screenshot of animals doing something particularly cute or interesting or maybe one of their rarer animations that you've managed to capture or it could just be a really artistic screenshot or anything that you can think of at all and you can enter as many screenshots as you like which will obviously increase your chances of winning and I will allow 
you to edit the screenshots. Obviously, I don't want too much editing to happen. So if you're like adding in animals to a background or basically just sort of copying, pasting elements into your screenshot, then I don't want that. But I will allow you to color correct photos because that will help them look nicer and more impressive. So yeah, just be sensible and be fair because this is going to be a fun competition and I don't want anyone to feel like they've been cheated out of the prize. But to enter the competition, you will need to join my Discord server, which is linked in all of my video descriptions. So you can find it there, including this one. And in my Discord, I have created three text channels under the heading Planet Zoo Competition. And one of them has the rules and instructions. One of them is just a chat for all of the competition members to talk and get inspiration from one another and make friends. Because this is intended to be fun and a social competition. So hopefully you can make some friends. And then the third one is where you will post your entries once you've finished them. So I will also explain all of this in my video description below as well. And in order to enter the competition, you will also have to be subscribed to me on YouTube and have commented on this video with your Discord username so I know who you are. And if you don't want that information to be visible on YouTube, you can just comment anything at all and then message me privately in Discord what your YouTube name is so I can know who you are. But in terms of the deadline, I was thinking of organising it for the 23rd of December. That way, whoever wins will receive the pack in time for Christmas, which would be nice. But if I get the impression that enough people would like this date to be extended to give them a decent amount of time to make a good screenshot, then we can extend this until after Christmas, maybe closer to New Year's. So that's all the rules I can think of for now. But if you have any questions, I will probably add more information in the video description as I think of things. And obviously the rules and instructions will be within the Discord itself. But you can comment and ask me any questions down below and I will answer them as best I can. And I'm not sure how many people, if any, will decide to take part in this competition. So hopefully it's not an intimidating number of people, but I really hope that I do get to know a few more of you and I can't wait to see all of your animal photographs. So good luck and let me know if you have any questions, like I say, in the Discord chat or in the comments down below and I will happily answer any of them. But that is it from me in terms of this video. So I really hope you like this build. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below and don't forget that it's on the workshop if you're interested and that there will be cinematics of the finished build and the badges at the end of the video. As always, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe because it really does help the channel to grow. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.